Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to show you some of the basic features of GeoGebra so you feel better about using it effectively in your math classroom. So once you go to the website geogebra.org, you'll select Start Graphing. We'll open up a new tab for you. Uh, we see the input bar over on the left. We have the graph with the grid on the right. If you go over to settings, you can change the look of the grid. You can have it show the axes. You can have it without. You can change the grid settings currently. This is showing major and minor grid lines. I typically prefer major grid lines unless I'm doing something where I really need my students to be very precise with the measurements of their graph. Um, you also have different features to zoom in, zoom out, so you can use those accordingly and adjust the size of your screen for whatever purpose you're using GeoGebra for. Um, the next thing I want to show you is how you can add points to this graph. So up here on the top left, you have the Algebra tab, the Tools tab, and the Table tab. If you select the Tools tab, which also reminds me of geometry and ge geometric shapes, um, one of the first options you have is a point tool. So you'll also notice at the bottom that when you select any option in GeoGebra, it will tell you how to use it down towards the bottom, what to select in the order to select things in. So I'm just going to select a few points here on my graph. And notice that GeoGebra will label them, um, typically in alphabetical order. You can select the arrow at any point, either down here towards the bottom or under Basic Tools. And if you want to move an object, you can do that. You can change the positions. You'll notice once you select an object that it will give you a little menu over here to the side. You can change the color of the shape. You can change the icon of the shape. You can change the thickness of it. You can also click under the letters and you can change the label and you can select or deselect whether to have it showing the value. So for a point that would be the ordered pair. If you're showing the value of an angle that would be the degree measure. Those sorts of things. Um, you also have an option to delete the object and then if you click on the three dots you can go to some more advanced settings if you need them. Another way that you can add points to the graph is if you go to the Algebra tab, you'll notice that the three points that I have placed on the grid are already listed here, but I can go into a new line and I can identify the point that I want, and once I hit Enter, it will put it on the graph. It will also label it for me. So if you already know several points that you want to use, maybe they're given points in a problem, you can type those in directly in addition to pointing the, plotting them on the graph itself. You can add in equations to this as well. So I'm going to type in the equation of a line. I'm going to say y equals negative x plus 3. So I have an equation of a line going through my points C and D. And so that's going to let me illustrate to you another feature that GeoGebra has is that you can add text. So this is especially helpful if you want to write the equation for a line, for a function, a curve, anything like that beside the graph itself. You'll notice up here at the top it's just labeling this line as line F, but maybe I want the equation to actually appear. So I can go under Tools and I can insert under Media. I can select Text and I can place it by this line. Um, if you're writing an equation, I would suggest going under Latex Formula and you can see a bit of a preview down here under advanced but I'm just going to type this in so we can see our equation and then hit OK and it will place the equation on the graph. I can move it around so it makes it easier to see or position it if I have several different equations on my screen. The last thing that I want to show you that you can add in this video is you can also add an image. 
So if you go to image, you select whatever file you want to use and it will paste it into your graph. So you can move this. Um, this would be especially helpful if I was going to line it up with the axes so I could measure things. Um, I'm going to put it down here in the third quadrant just since I have some other things happening. But you can click and drag one of these points on the end to adjust the size. So maybe you want to make the measurements more even so you can do that and this is especially helpful because then maybe you have your students do some mathematical modeling and you have them look for an equation that they can use to model this situation so I'm just typing in a parabola and you see how it is um, showing up on the graph you could have your students move this over on to the picture and perhaps model the shape of this parabolic curve at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower. Once you have made your file the way that you would like it, let's say you want to share this with your students or share this with a colleague, you'll notice you have the share icon on the top right. Uh, you can give your title a name and then you can share it after it saves so we'll give it a second to think about that and then it will give you a link and so you can copy this link you can share it in an email to a colleague you can share it on your learning management system for your students and you can also save these files so if you use them from year to year you can refer back to them as needed. So I hope this video gives you kind of an overview of some basic tools in GeoGebra. The next video that we will look at will discuss the basic tools that you can use in an algebra classroom. Thank you.